You're watching Breakfast Television on City TV. The topics of masculinity and sport are going to be front and center this Thursday during a panel discussion on boys and the culture of sports team locker rooms. Learning about masculinity in locker rooms can have a lasting psychological impact on boys. Professor Michael Keeler joining us this morning to talk about this. Professor Keeler is a masculinities professor at the Workland School of Education at the U of C. And the culture of locker rooms, Michael, uh, it's topical as of late because of what we saw coming out of Toronto and St. Michael's College School right. and the allegations of sexual abuse there and sexual assault. Um, but it's much bigger than just one school. It's, it's kind of an, a whole encompassing kind of cultural environment for these boys during very formative years, right? Right, exactly. And, and our uh, conversation on Thursday is really pulling together international research from Sweden, from Australia, and here from Canada, a nationalist study that I did, uh, looking at that culture of the locker rooms and the ways in which boys navigate those spaces, issues intersect around body image issues, homophobia, and how masculinity, how being a boy, being a man in the locker room gets played out among boys. Among boys, okay. And what kind of impact does it have psychologically on these boys who eventually turn into men? Yeah, it has long-term impact. What we saw uh, from our national study here in Canada is really uh, boys explaining how quickly uh, they want to finish the course, the phys ed course, and the courses that were required uh, so that they could uh, regain a sense of confidence outside of the locker room space because it's in the locker room space that many of those boys felt uh, threatened, they felt uh, anxiety around their own bodies and so for them that's long term and many people would uh, tell me in, in this experience with these 15, 16 year olds that they detested the locker rooms and they detested gym so they, the impact this has is their experiences around physical health and so for many this, this is really damaging to them. Sure, sure. And so how can uh, coaches and teachers and parents then try and work with these boys to make the situation better? Yeah, it's, it's a good question. I think it's, it's complicated because um, many boys will, will hide the fact that they don't feel comfortable in the locker room. And many boys will develop strategies. Some boys, for example, will, they'll, they'll change at home and then they'll wear their gym gear underneath their clothes uh, to avoid the locker room. Others will change in the schools. They'll, they'll find a, a washroom and they'll change uh, separate from the other boys, but nonetheless, the kind of um, sense of anxiety and threat that they feel from some other boys still remains, and, and they keep it to themselves. So what we need to do, both parents and teachers and, and phys ed teachers, is have frank conversations with students, uh, boys in particular, about locker rooms, about respect and, and developing safety in those spaces. Because currently, uh, the locker rooms are the single most unsupervised spaces uh, where students have to navigate those spaces by themselves. Wow. And, and by being open about this, it does what for these boys? This gives a uh, voice to a lot of boys who uh, historically have had to navigate those spaces by themselves. Uh, our conversation, again, uh, we have someone coming in from Sweden and Australia and, and myself, uh, brings to light, I think, those kinds of experiences that these boys are having, uh, the kind of anxi anxieties that they develop, and, and the fear um, that these young men have about, um, it's not so much the fear of participating, but it's the fear of being judged as less than a boy by their peers. Wow, okay, interesting yeah. topic. And this Thursday is when you're having the this discussion, This Thursday right? evening uh, at the university. At the U of C, yeah, it's in the education building. The, the, the talk, by the way, on masculinity and sports called Open Doors, Open Locker Rooms, Lads in Sport. Education Tower, uh, U of C campus, of course, Thursday from 6 until 8. And is this part one of two talks you're planning to do? It is, yeah. yeah, yeah. And the second part, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, engaging boys and men in the current era of hashtag me too. And so we have some international scholars coming in from the UK and uh, from the US, and we're having a dialogue uh, down at the Central Library. Great. We'll have to have you back to talk about that second talk as well. My pleasure. Good luck on Thursday. Interesting conversation. Uh, 727 this morning. You're watching Breakfast Television on City TV.